Okay, I really have nothing else to really teach you, <clears throat> but I do want to explain kind of this practice really quickly. And I do want to make note that we are using this right now when we are solving for X more than we need to when we're in the conic sections. When we're in the conic sections, I need to get to this step right here where I am writing one side as a binomial of squares. Where I'm writing one side as a binomial of squares, one side as a binomial of squares. That's what I need to get to because I'm not going to be solving for variables when I get to the conics, but we are going to be using this concept. So to help you practice, because you don't have any additional homework over this, I gave you guys eight practice problems. The first two here walk you through all of the process and they even tell you what to do over here. And then like what goes in this box, <clears throat> It's asking what goes in this box from right here. That's your B over two quantity squared. Okay. What goes in this box comes from right here. Okay. So this gives you some guided practice and you can check your answers right here for part A and part B. And then you have six more problems where you don't have the guided practice. This is all of the practice that you have from it. If you are taking my class uh, on campus, your attendance quiz will include a completing the square question. So you wanna definitely make sure you practice this. If you're taking this class online, this is just gonna make the conics easier, but you don't have any extra homework or quizzes that involve it, but you do need uh, to know how to do this to do your conic sections.